Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about working directories. So what we are going to check is the current working directory. And if you don't want it to be that working directory, you can also change your working directory. And then I'm going to show you where does a file go? So it can be an exported data set. It can also be a plot. So you can see those documents actually go directly to the working directory that you set up. So first of all, let's check our current working directory. So I'm going to run this line and then you can see it is under my documents folder. But I want it to be, so let me show you my folder here. I actually created a R folder under my documents folder. So in that way, all of my R files can be found here in this folder. So now I want to change my working directory into that R folder by using set working directory. So you put the location in the double quotation mark by using users, and you all the way to documents, and then you put R in there so that you are setting your working directory into the R folder. And now you can check your working directory and see it, if it is changed successfully. So you can see now it is my R folder. So I want to show you something about where does a data set go? Where if you export a data set into your, your computer, where does it go? So the data set I'm going to use is called, let me think about a data set. What if we use a data called Galton? See if it is there. Okay, let's use the UK guess because it's directly right there. So I'm going to use data of that UK guess. And you can take a look of the data set if you are interested in the data set, but I only want to show you how to export a data set as a CSV file into my folder. So I'm going to copy the data set name and then I'm going to give it the same name like this. So this means I'm exporting the data in R into a data table in my computer. So I'm going to run that line. And then let's go to my R folder and see if the document is there. See? So this is my working directory and the document is actually exported directly into that that working directory. So you can actually click to open that document to see the data in that document.